Hey guys, this is Tomek from storagefreak.net. In this video, I want to show you how you can configure the HTTPS load balancer using the Google Managed SSL certificate. Let me first explain the environment. I already created the instance group and you can find the link in the description to see how you can do that with the simple two instances serving an HTTP page with the welcome message hi from and the instance name to see that the load balancer is actually um, balancing the load between both instances. So uh, there is a very simple web template uh, which I also created in my previous video with the startup script. The startup script installs Apache 2, PHP 7 and put two pages, one with the welcome message and the other one with the test PHP to put some stress test on the instance group to check the load balancing and auto scaling functionality. Uh, that's all been done in the previous video. Mm, there's also the HTTP uh, load balancer. As you can see, it's fully functional. And when we visit that, uh, one page is responding after a couple of refreshes, the other one, again, the first one. So the load is balancing between two nodes. All right, so without the further ado, let's go ahead and create the HTTPS load balancer to secure the communication between the end users and load balancer. So I'll create the brand new HTTPS load balancer, the same steps as previously. Let's give it a name with web server HTTPS LB. The backend configuration, I can create a new one, but since I do have already backend service created, I will just choose the one I do have. In the host and path rules, there are some advanced options, as you can see, but in my case, I don't need to take advantage of them. It might be more useful in more complex situations, so let's leave it a simple host and path rule. For the front-end configuration, let's give it a name. I will call it web server HTTPS IP and change the protocol to HTTPS. Notice the port is also changed to 443. And we have to select the certificate, so the way how the traffic will be secured. Uh, I will go ahead and give it a name. My SSL set seems to be okay. I will create a Google Managed Certificate. I have to specify the domain name. I'm owning this is cloud.xyz and this is the one I'm going to use. You can specify more domains or some subdomains, for example, www or about. Uh, to my knowledge, as of today, you cannot put wildcard over here. Maybe this will change in the future. Anyways, once the certificate is created, uh, let's save it and let's review our HTTPS load balancer configuration. Let's just confirm the front-end configuration uh, since the port is okay, certificate is okay. Mm, let's review the HTTPS load balancer setting. As you can notice, the health check of instance group is already green. And let's click create. Now, it will take some time before the load balancer is fully operational. But if we refresh the page after a couple of seconds, up to a minute, it should already be available to go ahead and check the details, even to find the IP address of our load balancer inside. And I'm going to need to use this IP address to continue and configure the domain I used for the certificate. Um, okay, the front end configuration is not yet ready. Let's try to refresh. Uh, just to clear, uh, what I did with the domain. When you uh, create the SSL certificate, it has to be connected with the domain name. And the one I used, the this is cloud.xyz, is just the one I bought. There was a good price for it and I just bought it to uh, use it in the lab environment. So let's copy the IP address of our newly created load balancer and let's configure the domain to point to this IP address. So first I will create the DNS zone. I will call it this is cloud XYZ zone. I think the dot is an issue here, but that's okay, it's just the name. In the DNS name let's call let's use the full domain name and create. Now the zone is created. I'm going to use I'm going to add two records, one of type A to point to the IP address of my load balancer. And let's paste the IP address I have in the clipboard. 
oh but without the port number with just the IP address IP address over here so let's save it and let's create another record type of C name to point www to the main domain as well so www type C name and point the canonical name to this is cloud.xyz just remember about the dot at the end over here okay once this is done I will have to update my uh, domain provider with the name servers that I see on the screen you can even go for the register setup and see which name service you have to use for the domain okay since the domain is configured outside of Google Cloud I did it already on my own uh, but to show you this is done let me go for the who is information of my domain so I will navigate to the who is page provide the domain name just remember this is page outside of Google right so let's search for the domain and let's check the name server configuration and as you can see those are the four given to me by Google the order might be different, but it doesn't matter to be honest. Even not all four of them have to be configured, it's just better if all four of them are. Okay, so let's review what we've done. The web server HTTPS load balancer is, is configured. Mm, the certificate is still provisioning. Uh, we created a DNS zone and a record to point to this load balancer and we updated the domain information to point to the correct name servers. Now the page will still not be available. It will need a couple of hours, maybe even up to a day to propagate all the information across the internet. Uh, as you can see, I cannot access the page and the ping will not respond yet. I would be really surprised if it responds, but it doesn't. That's okay. Let's give it an hour and check again. Okay, after one hour, uh, before we continue, just to explain uh, the subdomain, I set it up in the certificate, but to make sure it will be responsive, I added the CNAME record in my DNS as configuration. Just as a placeholder, the subdomain will navigate to the main page. It might be used in the future. So um, let's refresh the page and see if the certificate is already provisioned. And, and it is, it's active. And we can see the expiration day and the certificate issuer. Regarding the expiration, you don't have to worry about it because this is Google managed. So it will be recreated automatically. Let's see if the domain is responsive from the DNS uh, point of view. And it is. We can reach our uh, domain via ping. So let's see if the page will reload. And as you can see this, and as you can notice, the communication is secured because the um, certificate is installed on our load balancer. So the communication between end user and our load balancer is, is secured with the Google Trust Services certificate. Um, the communication, internal communication between the load balancer and our backend service, our instance group, isn't, but that's how we configured that in this example. Uh, as you can see, when we refresh the pages, we hit one and the other instances of the instance group, we can access the subdomain I configured so everything works according to according to the plan okay so I think that's it for today I showed you how easy it is to configure the HTTPS load balancer with Google Manage SSL certificate thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed that if you've got any questions or comments just post them below the video I will do my best to answer all of them um, in the next one, I will show you how you can update the instance group using the rolling update uh, option. Thanks and bye.